What's up everybody? Cody here with Plug Eggless Customs. I'm gonna give you guys a few tips on uh, pinstriping for beginners. I'm gonna go over how to mix your paint, then uh, how to pilot your brush, and then how to uh, lay a line. Uh, there's two different ways that I know of to set up to mix your paint. Some people will do it out of a uh, Dixie cup or like a little solo cup like these here. Uh, they'll put all their paint, their thinner, um, hardener, whatever else in there, mix it up. You can do it like that and then you just, you know, dip your paint or dip your brush into the paint, you know, pile it out onto your paper or whatever. Usually you want to use like a, a magazine or something, something with kind of like a shine to it so it doesn't soak up the paint. Uh, I don't do it like that. I do what they call working out of the can, which instead of using a solo cup and mixing all my paint, I just put a little bit of paint on the paper and just kind of mix everything in right there. You can do it either way, it works just fine. This is just the way I've always done it. So, uh, so I will get one of these though, and I'll put a little bit of thinner in here and then I'll use some of the chroma flow like I talked about in the last video this is just to help your paint flow a little better as you're going along and I just put a little bit of that in there and then uh, you know, clean your brush out. Usually, like I said, you want to store them in a oil or some sort of lubricant conditioner. That way, it keeps your keeps your brush hair soft. And so, I just dip into the paint like this here. I'll kind of puddle up a little bit on the paper or magazine, whatever I'm using. And I'll just do two or three dips, depending on how big of a piece I'm planning on doing. You can get it like that. Uh, oh, and then I guess if you want to use a hardener into it, if you're going to be laying clear coat over it, or if uh, you know you want to try and make it last a little longer, if it's going to be on a car that's, you know, add, add a little bit of hardener to it, and that helps helps the life out of it you don't need a whole lot just a little bit like that goes a long ways so get your paint get your paint puddle here and you're gonna dip into your hardener and then just kind of mix it in Kind of working around a little bit. Let that let some of the excess drip off. And this essentially is like like having a cup full of paint, but instead of having it in a cup, you just put it on the paper. So pretty well works the same way. It's just your preference. So you let some of the excess drip off. And that's pretty well how you mix it um, you know like this the other way you would just mix it all into the cup then you're gonna pout it out just kind of wipe it back and forth try to get you know the excess off there kind of what you're looking for or going for is you want you don't want the paint to be too thin because it'll be runny you want it to kind of grab against the brush. So as you're dragging it across there, you should feel it kind of sticking, sticking to the paper. Now, if you have it a little bit wetter, uh, it's a little runnier, your lines will come out a little bit wider. Um, it also slides a lot easier. And you kind of don't want that. You want it to um, kind of stick to the panel that you're doing. 
so then it, you know, um, gives you a little more control. And I just kind of pout it around, wiggle it, you know, between my fingers, kind of work it into the brush. We you get, you know, you got a good amount. Then, as you're doing this, your paint might dry out a little bit, so you can dip it in your thinner here. Just kind of mix it in. And that'll re-wet it so that it's back to the way you want it. What you want so that you got a nice little belly of paint right here. So it's loaded up real good and a good point on it there. And you want to make sure that the the bump where your um, where your hairs go in is on the right side. That's the way you're you're holding the brush right. So make sure when you're holding it that bumps on the on the right hand side so when you're striping and all right next we'll go over laying a line all right so now you got your brush pouted out next step setting yourself up to lay the line you want to have good control over the brush so you want to pinch it between your two fingers like this like i said keep that bump on the right side there and then Keep it pinched between your fingers so that you can roll it back and forth. That's for when you do the curves, you gotta roll it into them curves. Right now we're just gonna worry about straight lines. So you get get your brush pouted, make sure your paint doesn't, you know, isn't drying out on your brush. And then uh, you hold it like this. I use these three fingers as a you know as a stand. And I'll take this hand here and I cup around it and I use my other pinky uh, to support myself on the other side so hold it between your fingers bump on the right side three fingers down cup your hand pinky on this side and then usually I would lay like a piece of tape or something and use my grease pencil to draw a straight line pull the tape off that way I know where my center is but for this video we're just just doing a demonstration so uh so you want to set up make sure you know you're comfortable and you're gonna touch just the tip of that brush down and then kind of pull it down so it straightens out and you just want to use the tip of that brush you don't want to use the whole thing unless you're trying to make a real thick line and then you slowly steadily drag it down you want to keep a consistent speed and you want to keep a consistent amount of pressure on the brush. You don't want to be doing it and then push in on the brush because then you'll get a fatter line. So you got to make sure you keep keep the same amount of uh, pressure on your brush, the same amount of the brush you know on the piece, and keep the same speed going down. I'll zoom in for you guys a little bit so you can get a better view. So, brush palleted right, not too wet, it's grabbing against the brush. And it'll do the same whenever you put it down here. It'll, it'll grab a hold of that panel, that way you can just kind of drag it down. Touch the tip, and slowly drag her down the panel. Nice, steady speed. Consistent pressure. And there you go. And then that's it. Uh, just practice and practice and practice. Do it, you know, over and over and over. I spent, when I was learning pinstriping, I spent probably six months in the garage, just, you know, an hour a day, just doing, doing this right here over and over and over just to get that be able to do a nice straight line consistent and everything else do those get your practice with that and then you can you know work on doing you know uh doing you know curved lines and whatnot and uh we'll go over some more of that in the next video but if you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful do the youtube thing hit the subscribe button hit the like button got any questions uh, leave them in the comments, 
anything else you guys want a video on leave it in the comments uh i'll do my best to get back to you thanks